is Jackie and you are welcome to my YouTube channel today. I'm cooking mashed potatoes with T-bone steak. What a yummy combination. Aha! Uh -huh. So here I have my seasoning, some meat pies, I have some butter, garlic and white pepper as well. Now you can use any meat pies of your choice as long as you love it, okay? <laughs> Guys, I will start with the steak and then show you the mashed potatoes after but it was a bang because it was one creamy as you can see and very tasty. <laughs> I like to add garlic to my steak oil, I mean the butter and the olive oil, you know, because garlic has this very savory taste and I want that in my steak as well. This is so yummy. I hope you try it. This mashed potatoes, I'm not going to be using any masher or mixer or whatever. We are going to do it by hand, okay? Strength, the strength of the arm, okay? Because I usually like to do these things so that if you don't have it at home, then you are still able to have your mashed potatoes, okay? And at every point in time, just make sure the mashed pot the potatoes are inside water because you don't want it to discolor so when you chop it you put it in water and when you want to put it on fire you put it in water as well so now if you want to know if your potatoes are cooked enough you just stick in a fork so i did that and realized it was cooked enough so i put it onto a colander and then i used the spoon from the rice cooker to mash it up and this is the finest any mashed potato can be using the colander and the spoon method is the finest because it comes out really fine and the consistency is amazing because all the fine bits of the mashed potatoes has been achieved through the colander trust me this is a trick and you definitely need it 
and this is my full cream i go ahead to boil it on fire for about four minutes but then i'll just keep stirring every now and then then i go ahead to add my garlic i don't ever 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 leave my garlic because it gives it a very nice savory taste now i pour it over my mashed potatoes that i already have from the colander and then i mix it a little by little until a very fine consistency is formed or achieved The next thing is butter, unsalted butter. This is two scoops of butter, which I put in the microwave to get liquidy or oily. And then I pour it into my mashed potatoes because I want this to be creamy, guys. Like, I want it to be one, creamy, and I want it to be tasty. <laughs> so you see what I did there? Look how creamy it looks and so yummy and delicious. Let me know when you try this in the comment section. Do not forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Bye!